Hi there, mathematicians. You know, you hear the word PEMDAS, and you're like, what in the world does that mean? And it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, especially if you look it up. But PEMDAS is a way of going through a mathematical problem in a certain sequence. And that's very important because math is about knowing patterns, about being able to recognize how things fit together. And PEMDAS is a step-by-step -step sequential way to help you solve math problems. And not just solve them, but solve them correctly. So let's take a look. According to the order of operations, or PEMDAS, we first simplify what's inside the parentheses. So here we have 5 minus 1, which is 4. P stands for parentheses. So we rewrite the problem as 62 minus 2 times 4 squared plus 1. Next comes the exponent, so we have 4 squared. And E stands for exponent. Now exponents are those little numbers that are above another number. You can see it right here in the parentheses. That could have been 3. The exponent could have been 5. The exponent could have been as it is 2. It doesn't mean 4 times 2 or 4 times 3 or 4 times 5. What it means is that you have two 4s that you'll multiply together. Which is 4 times 4, or 16. Rewriting the problem again, we have 62 minus 2 times 16 plus 1. Here's where the M and the D come into play. M stands for multiplication and D stands for division. Now they are on the same level which means that you'll take them from left to right to decide which one is going to be used first, either the multiplication or the, or the division. Next comes multiplication and division. So we multiply 2 times 16 to get 32, and we have 62 minus 32 plus 1. So the A and the S is for addition and subtraction, and you take those in order from left to right. Okay, so when you take that from left to right, you're able to, um, and of course, I thought I was going backwards on the screen, so left to right, all right, um, but from left to right, you'll take a look at the first numbers and um, just subtract or, or add based on what you're seeing there. In this case, it's 62 minus 32. You'll do that first, and then you'll add the one when you're done. Watch out for this last step. Students who use PEMDAS often think that addition must always be done before subtraction, but that's not necessarily the case. If subtraction appears before addition as we read the problem from left to right, we do the subtraction first. So here, we subtract 62 minus 32, which is 30. So we have 30 plus 1, which is 31. Notice that I wrote out all of the steps of this problem. When solving order of operations problems, it's very important that you write out all the steps so that you can avoid careless mistakes. Now it's your turn, and the bit of advice I have for you is rewrite the problem after you solve a portion. At the top of this page, 62 minus 2, and then parentheses, in parentheses, 5 minus 1. It's so important to rewrite that problem on the next step. Because when you rewrite it, then you're able to think in sequence, what's the next thing that I do? If you try to figure it all out, you can easily get confused, especially for beginners. You can easily get confused by what should I do next? What step is, you know, all this, and you start going, five minus one, start with that, and then work the exponent and then you're able to work the multiplication piece. Okay? This has been Mr. Gowerluck and some other lady talking about order. Maybe it's someone related to Ms. Barrett. I don't know. But anyway, and then I also want to give a shout out. Um, this is one of Rowan's favorite videos. He said, Mr. G, you make really good videos about PEMDAS. Can you make me a video? And I said, sure, Rowan, I've absolutely. But let me kick the ball on top of the school first. Um, no, I just can Maybe Carson told me to do that. Anyway, everybody, have yourself a great day. It's good to see you.